Just the other week, I got a holiday gift package from a company I work with that was the perfect generic re-gifting gift. It was so nicely arranged and just that right amount of content in it, so it wasn't too much or too little. My first thought when I got it was, yup, that's getting re-gifted. <laughs> Is that a bad thing, re-gifting? You know, if someone put a lot of thought and effort and time into picking out that perfect gift for you, I'm thinking that re-gifting it would be terrible. Those gifts, the thoughtful, the meaningful ones, should never be re-gifted, except for two things. There are two things that I believe you should always re-gift. The first thing that you should re-gift, that you should pass to someone else, is the gift that God has given you. You are incredibly gifted. The Bible says that every one of us has been gifted by God. Now, when I'm saying gifts, I'm referring to the talents, the skills, the special and unique ways of doing and thinking things that God has blessed you with. I've never met anyone that has not been given a gift by our Creator. I have met people, though, who have rejected the gift. Instead of reaching out and accepting it, they push away from it and deny it. They take what they've been given and bury it in the ground. You've probably seen people like that too, people of whom you say so much wasted potential. If you're one of those people, take just this small step of saying to God right now, I'm sorry. I accept the gift you're offering me and let it bring glory to you as I share it with others. Trust that right now that God hears your heart and will respond to your prayer. Keep your eyes open for opportunities to re-gift what he's given you. The second thing I believe you should always re-gift is the love of God found in Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. If you've received the gift that is the son of God, please, please re-gift. I'm not saying to go out and evangelize on the street corner or anything. I am saying to love those around you. Re-gift the love that was given to you to those God has placed in your life. Loving others is second only to loving God is the greatest commandment. There's a story told of the disciple John who as he got older kept repeating one message over and over and over again. Every time someone would stop by to see him and talk to him, he said those same words. As they were carrying him into the house for church, the same words. Children, he would say, love one another. Love one another. This Christmas, re-gift your gifts and the love of God and you and the world will be a much better place for it.